Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Franklin Whole Home A Power 2. Which is the best battery energy storage system for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two leading energy storage systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're coming back to you with another head-to-head -head battery comparison. And today's comparison is between the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C, the fourth generation Enphase battery, and the Franklin A Power 2, Franklin's second generation whole home battery. Now, both of these are AC coupled batteries, meaning that they interface to the solar system on the AC side of the system af after the solar power has been inverted from direct current power to alternating current power. Uh, but one big difference between these two systems is that Enphase is more of a closed proprietary system. So you're gonna be using the Enphase battery along with Enphase microinverters on the solar array. Whereas Franklin is more of an inverter agnostic AC coupling system. So you could pair it with inverters from, uh, let's say microinverters from Enphase or a DC optimized inverter from SolarEdge or just about any other grid compliant solar inverter. All right, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now those categories are power, of course the storage capacity of the battery, the warranty of the battery, uh, of course the cost of the battery and the cost to have it installed. Um, also the ease of installation, which is a category we've added this year, uh, especially important for you installers out there as you're planning your equipment and logistics and of, of your fleet and of your installation crews of how you wanna manage that. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way I can award additional points to one of the two products where there might not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where it could have tremendous impact for you as a potential system owner. So with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, first up is the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Uh, again, this is the fourth generation battery system from Enphase. Now in terms of power output, each battery can provide 7.1 kilowatts of continuous power output. Now I've gotta say that's kind of on the low end of the range compared to some of the larger home battery that, we, that we've seen come to the market over the past 12 months. Uh, but 7.1 kilowatts continuous output power is what you can get from the Enphase system. Now in terms of storage capacity, each battery provides 10 kilowatt hours of usable storage. So that, that's the 10 in IQ Battery 10C refers to the 10 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Now in terms of warranty, Enphase offers a leading 15 year battery warranty. Uh, right now, the, the industry standard is about a 10-year warranty for a home battery, but Enphase takes their battery warranty all the way out to 15 years. Now, in terms of cost, Enphase is going to be higher on the, the price spectrum in terms of total installed cost. Uh, and when you're, when you're comparing solar and battery storage systems, what you want to look at, or at least one of the metrics you want to look at is, what is your total installed cost per kilowatt hour of battery storage. So take your total contract price or your, your total quote price, divide it by the total kilowatt hours of storage, and it will give you a relatively easy figure to use to compare different battery systems side by side. But again, especially if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that Enphase always kind of tends to be on the higher end of the price spectrum. Uh, they're not really trying to be the cheapest option. I think Enphase is more having that reputation of constantly innovating and having the most advanced technology. Now in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give Enphase four out of five points. Uh, they have made a number of improvements compared to the previous generation battery. Um, one is, although it is a 10 kilowatt hour battery, it's broken into two five kilowatt hour storage modules, which means that each individual piece of equipment, no, no one individual piece of equipment weighs more than 200 pounds, so the installation can still be completed by only two technicians without having to use any special lift equipment. Uh, of course, another enhancement is in the new Enphase Combiner 6C. They've eliminated the need for a separate system controller or a separate transfer switch. So basically, the, the new Enphase IQ Combiner 6C is gonna combine all your solar and microinverters, and it's gonna integrate the battery storage, EV charging, um, and allow you to disconnect from the grid during a blackout. And of course, to do that, they use the new Enphase IQ meter collar adapter. So as you all know, Tesla introduced the meter collar adapter, what they call the Tesla backup switch. Um, Enphase has their version now. 
Uh, and that's really gonna help for the installation because basically you, you can wire the installation for whole house backup, do your grid interconnection right there at the meter socket so you don't have to modify any of the inside the house wiring, uh, and you don't have to worry about installing a critical loads panel anymore. And then in terms of X-Factor, I'm gonna give Enphase plus three additional X-Factor points, uh, and it's really for additional features that are available on the Enphase platform. Uh, remember folks, the Enphase is a, is a proprietary closed system. So if you're gonna be using the Enphase battery, you're gonna be using Enphase equipment end to end. Micro inverters, the, the, the switch gear, the monitoring, all of that. But Enphase is working on a number of innovative features on their platform, uh, including of course, bi-directional EV charging. Uh, in fact, a couple of years ago, we had a chance to see a demonstration of one of the prototype bi-directional EV chargers. Uh, and Enphase is also uh, promising to provide generator support as well sometime in 2026. So this is the new Enphase fourth generation battery. Today's video is brought to you by EG4 Electronics. If you're looking for a whole house solar and battery backup solution that is highly scalable and affordably priced, then you need to take a look at the new EG4 Power Pro system. EG4 offers a complete suite of solar and battery storage solutions, including hybrid inverters, battery storage, switch gear, conduit boxes, and high efficiency DC appliances. The system offers the lowest scaled cost per kilowatt hour compared to all-in-one providers. EG4 is proudly assembled in the USA with a US-based support team to ensure your solar system stays healthy long after the install. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want a whole house battery backup solution at an affordable price, then go to eg4electronics.com where you can find a local distributor or sign up to become an approved installer right away. All right, next up is the Franklin Whole Home A Power 2 battery. Uh, now, as I mentioned earlier, the, the Franklin battery is also an AC coupled battery, but it is inverter agnostic. So you can pair this to pretty much any grid compliant inverter on the market, including Enphase micro inverters, Solar Edge optimized inverters, uh, or SMA or Fronius string inverters. You can use this to retrofit battery storage on there. Now, in terms of power output, each A Power 2 provides 10 kilowatts of continuous power with surge power up to 15 kilowatts for 10 seconds. So that's gonna be enough for starting up some of your heaviest loads like your central air conditioning compressor uh, or any big inductive motors that may have a huge inrush current when they start up. Now in terms of storage capacity, each A Power 2 battery provides 15 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. I say usable capacity because they actually reserve an extra kilowatt hour for the black start feature, but 15 kilowatt hours is what you'll be able to use for home backup or self-consumption. Now in terms of warranty, Franklin also now offers a 15 year warranty. So Enphase and Franklin are probably the two best home battery warranties available on the market as of today. Uh, and in terms of cost, I think you're gonna find a Franklin based system middle of the road in terms of cost. Uh, it's definitely not one of the cheapest battery systems out there, uh, nor is it, is it the most expensive. And I think you'll find tremendous value especially as you scale up the system size with multiple batteries, that Franklin offers a good competitive overall cost per kilowatt hours for the installed system. Now again, I know Franklin markets the battery as a whole home battery. Um, and with a battery with, with these specs, you could potentially wire for whole house backup just using a single battery. Although in most cases, I'm gonna recommend, if you're talking about a typical US single family home, where you have one or two central air conditioning units, I'm gonna recommend install two batteries for a true whole house backup. Now in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give the Franklin battery plus four points for ease of installation. Uh, they are now compatible with a number of meter collar adapters. So again, you can take advantage of easy wiring for whole house backup without having to install a critical loads panel, as well as the Franklin powered lift dolly, which allows a single technician to lift a battery into place and set it on the wall mount without having to use any forklifts or any heavy bulky lift equipment. Uh, now the, the, again, the Franklin battery is a massive battery. The battery weighs nearly 400 pounds, but with that powered lift dolly, again, getting to the logistics of the installation crew, it means that a single technician or even maybe a two person crew, if you wanna be, be more conservative, can complete the installation without having to you know, use a, the forklift or any of this other kind of heavy equipment. And then in terms of X-Factor, I'm gonna give Franklin plus four additional X-Factor points um, for a number of features that are available with the Franklin battery and the Franklin A-Gate. 
uh, including smart circuit control. So the Franklin system allows you to have intelligent load control for two circuits built right into their gateway, and that way you can really help stretch your battery runtime during an outage by shedding the heaviest loads in the house when you might be running on emergency power. Um, also, Franklin has the generator recharge option. So, you know, again, if, if you've been watching for a while, you know that if, if you're preparing for a true off-grid application, or you're preparing your home to survive a pr prolonged grid outage, I recommend having that generator recharge option so that if you hit a patch of bad weather and the solar panels can't keep up with recharging the battery, all you have to do is run the generator for a few hours, bring the batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off your solar and battery system. So Franklin's got you covered with generator support today, uh, as well as they have black start capability, which means even if you drain your batteries out completely, the battery will still keep a small amount of energy in reserve so that the next day when the solar panels when the solar panels can start producing power again, the battery can accept that power in, get itself back to a healthy state of charge, and then turn power back on into the house. Um, some of the battery systems, it, without that black start feature, you have to have a technician to come out and essentially jump start your battery if it drains completely out. So Franklin's got you covered for a true grid down situation here. Okay, so in summary here, with the Enphase battery, you get 7.1 kilowatts of continuous output power, 10 kilowatt hours energy storage capacity, a uh, market leading 50, 15 year warranty. Um, Enphase will definitely be higher on the price spectrum when compared to other battery storage options. So if you're looking at dollar per kilowatt hour capacity installed, Enphase is gonna be more expensive. Um, four to five points for ease of installation plus three X-Factor points. Now for the Franklin A Power 2 battery, you're looking at 10 kilowatts of continuous output power with 15 kilowatts peak for large motor starting. You've got storage capacity of 15 kilowatt hours, so 50% more storage capacity per battery with the Franklin. Uh, also a 15 year market leading warranty. More middle of the road in terms of cost. Again, when we're looking at cost, we're not looking at just unit cost, not cost per battery, but cost per kilowatt hour unit of storage. Uh, Franklin also gets plus four points for ease of installation plus four X-Factor points for some of those additional features on the Franklin platform. So if we total it up, Enphase receives three out of five on power. Again, it's a slightly underpowered battery. Three out of five on storage capacity. Uh, five out of five on warranty, got a great warranty. Three out of five on cost. Again, the Enphase typically tends to be on the higher side of cost. Four to five for ease of installation, plus three X-Factor points for a total of 21 points. Now for the A Power 2, I'm award awarding five out of five for power. One of the highest capacity uh, in terms of power output batteries on the market. Also five out of five for storage capacity. It is one of the highest storage capacity batteries available on the market. Five out of five for warranty. They both have a 15 year warranty, which is the best you can get right now for residential batteries. Four to five for cost, four to five for ease of installation, plus four X Factor points for a total of 27 points. So folks, this has been a head-to-head -head comparison of the new Enphase fourth generation IQ Battery 10C, as well as the Franklin second generation A Power 2 battery. Um, again, when we do these videos, it's not always to say, hey, this one company is always better than the other. Um, there's a good chance that if you're already on the Enphase IQ8 platform, you're gonna just wanna use the Enphase battery and keep everything on the same app. But if you're looking for a high powered battery that's capable of retrofitting to just about any existing solar inverter, then the Franklin A Power 2 is hard to beat. Well folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now of course, if you're a homeowner, or if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for either of these two battery options or, or any of the other leading battery options for that matter, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the solar surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.